Hey everyone, how y'all doing? So today, I thought we'd do an unboxing video on new camera I just bought. This is a DJI Osmo Action 4. And I actually bought the Adventure Combo, which comes with a couple extra things, a couple extra batteries, a battery charging case, and an extension rod, selfie stick. And hopefully, I can take some cool video this summer when we go hiking and camping. And this is going to replace my regular action camera, my GoPro Hero 7 Black that I've had for a long time now. And this thing's an awesome little camera, but it has issues. It overheats. It freezes up sometimes. And the only way to unfreeze is take it all apart, pull the battery out, start it all over again. And... Yeah, the batteries suck on this. I have three GoPro batteries and now they, I might get 20 minutes time out of each battery. So, yeah, time to kind of retire this, use this for a backup and use this for more stuff. And besides that, my phone takes good video. I've done a lot of videos on all these cameras. This one, my phone. But they're glitching big time. My phone's glitching. My little Sony camera that I'm using for this. Starting to glitch all the time. So yeah, I may be doing a lot more videos with this one. But yeah, let's get this thing open. And we'll check it out. <clears throat> Probably right here someplace was an easy way of opening it. Yeah, let's check the box out real quick. DJI Osmo Action 4. Adventure Combo. Like I said, extension rod, three batteries, battery case. Then on the back, some information. One and one third sensor. So it should be better in low light conditions than, than the GoPro. That kind of sucks when it's getting dark. 10 bit. D log M, deep freeze resistant, long lasting battery, 4K 120 frames per second, 55, 155 degree field of view, then other ones there. Quick release, so that's cool, I like that compared to the GoPro mounts. 360 degree horizon study. Waterproof up to 18 meters. I'm not going to go in the water that deep, but then this has dual touch screen. So there's a screen on the front. So I like that. And yes, yeah, continue into it. Open that. And here we go has two boxes on the inside this one says accessories that says Osmo Action 4 so let's check out the accessories this is part of the adventure pack now let's pull this one out and then in the bottom you can see is that selfie stick extension rod and it's not as big as long as I thought it was going to be so that's cool. Um, Some place. Open this thing up. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or use another extendable little tripod I have. But this thing extends up to, I don't know, um, four feet or something. Uh, warning right there. Rinse with clean water, remove sand after underwater usage. Do not use. The extension rod during thunderstorms to avoid lightning strikes. All right, so peel that off. Got a nice rubber, grippy rubber handle on this, and has the finger mount up here. And yeah, it's pretty tight. Holy cow! You definitely can't get see this, but this thing is long. I'm running out of room. I can't even get it all, all in frame. 
There you can see the handle material. Nice rubber. Feels good in hand. Very solid. Not much flex in it at all. But yeah, that'll come in handy. Let's check out the accessories here. And here we go. So what do we got? Got <clears throat> some desiccant right there. Got the USB-C to USB-C charging cable. Now this doesn't come with a charging block. I have to get a new one for this, but I have a bunch of them. This supports fast charging, so that's good. Here, you have one of the mounts. And this thing's got a, the quick release mount, so... Magnet in here, clicks to the bottom, or the end of the camera. These fingers, too, these fingers do um, clip in there, so... Suppose it's nice and solid. I like that. I tell you, it beats, you know, screwing around with the thumb screw and the GoPro 7s. You still have the cage you have to use. Let's dump this all out. <clears throat> Bunch of paperwork right here. Quick start guide. Here's a thing to scan to get to the app for it. I already put that on my phone. Got a DJI sticker. Let's see what's in here. Everything's packaged nice. Let's pull this out. Oh, got a few. Yeah, got got a few stickers in here. Oh, that's cool. Always like stickers, right? That one's cool up there. Yeah, I like getting stickers. What's this? Safety guidelines. What's this? I don't know. Who cares? Here, I'm not sure exactly what these things are for. Anti-slip buttons or something like that. Little washers, I guess. I guess you would put them in here so it doesn't you know move on you so that's cool here is a lens lens hood and this is for um low light usage you re replace the lens on a camera with this and with this sign it is not waterproof like i said the camera is waterproof up to 18 meters but if you put that on, it would not be. And here's the battery case. And this is what I wanted. So I, I have three total batteries with this. And you can see it has lights, tire charge, dead, whatever. Right now they're yellow or amber, so they must be about halfway. But yeah, three cool batteries. USB C yeah, USB C port there for charging. That's pretty solid. Solid case. Then you got room up here to store micro SD cards. So I'm glad I got the adventure combo just for this. It's pretty cool. Keeps all your batteries stored. Keep them charged. This thing's not not very big. It's got some weight because of the batteries and everything. But this also, you can use this as a power bank if you have to. So, yeah, nice. Let's get to the camera. Uh, open that. And pull this, this out. There's the camera. Here is the cage and a few other accessories. Now this is just a plastic cage similar to what's on the GoPro. It's really a protective device, you know. 
but you got two thumb screws right there, finger screws, and here's another mount. So with the Adventure Combo, it comes with two mounts, three batteries, and yeah. So this one is the smaller one. I'm not sure exactly now what they call it. Mini mount. And you can see the fingers right here, shorter. Otherwise, same size and like I said, magnetic, kind of sticking together. So there's that right here. <clears throat> kind of a waste of a freebie. It's one of those adhesive mounts. I have tons of these for the GoPro. Don't use them. I've used a couple, but this one I may put on my um, helmet, my scooter helmet, because that doesn't have vent holes for the strap mount. But yeah, I might I might just add that to my helmet. Give me an option. Do some scooter vlogs again. This thing, nice. Um, got the record button there, got the power button here, see how they, they look on the inside, pretty nice, pretty nice case, flip that up, open it up, slide the camera in, and like I said, it's kind of a protective case, but, This lets you mount the camera vertically, portrait mode, to do like Instagram, YouTube shorts, all that stuff. So, that's cool. As long as you have this case on, you can do that. Or, gotta have the camera, but it would mount like this also. So, got that. Now, let's check this camera out. Now, this won't have a battery or SD card in it yet, so won't get that far into this. And I'm not a <clears throat> I'm not a tech reviewer anyways, but yeah, nice little compact camera. This compare sizes here. It's a little w longer or wider than the GoPro 7. About the same height. And overall, it's a little, oh, the body's a little bit thicker, but lens to lens, let's do it this way. About the same overall thickness, so not too bad. This has a battery in it, I think. Yeah, this does not wait. I don't know. This one might be heavier without a battery. Definitely feels more substantial. That's that's nice. GoPro 7's got kind of like a rubber coating, so real easy to grip. This has kind of textured harder plastic, a little slicker. But yeah, here's the lens. Tighten the lens protective cover before taking in water. Let's peel that off. So there's the lens. This lens hood, you would remove that, put that on there for low light conditions. Supposedly that helps. But this has a front LED screen and the back screen. And looks like the back screen's gonna be quite a bit larger than the GoPro. And this is an old model, so it does not have a front screen. It's just a display settings and stuff so yeah i'm really looking forward to using this and i guess we could try putting it in the case here so that just goes in like such click that and mount it just like this with a quick release Get it in all the way. Yeah, that's nice and solid. What you do to release it, you press these two tabs to 
release the fingers and let me tell you that is a pretty strong magnet that's all by itself kind of hard to get a grip on it this thing was attached to something then it'd be easier but yeah got that then with this case you can mount it horizontal just like that for portrait mode and I'm digging it I can't wait to start using this hopefully I get some good good um, videos this summer camping and hiking and doing stuff outdoors and if I can figure out a setup I may start using this for these type of videos desktop videos you know I could I'll figure something out but yeah we'll be checking this out more and I guess that'll do it for this video do the usual like comment subscribe if you haven't and until the next video bye